Hey, what is going on, SMT Nation? It is your boy, the SMT. Dish has huge deals in fiber. This is just another piece of the wireless network build out, the Greenfield 5G network that we're going to be seeing from Dish. We've got tower deals that were just announced recently. We also have partnerships in AWS and, uh, you know, Mavenir and the Open RAN piece of what they're doing. This is pretty much, this is it right here, right? Now we're going to be seeing where the fiber is coming from and where the internet for the network is going to be coming from. All right, so let's take a look at the story. They've got deals with Zeo, Unity, and a couple of others, I believe. So Dish Network has secured fiber deals for their front hall and their back hall connectivity for their nationwide 5G network. They've got agreements with Everstream, Segra, Unity, and Zeo. Those are uh, all pretty well-known, uh, you know, pretty well-identifiable fiber optic providers across the country. Uh, this announcement does come on the heels of their tower deals with Crown Castle and American Tower. So this falls right into place as they uh, look like they're getting things going with the network build. So the the deals itself covers about 60 million people nationwide. So that would indicate a national build of their own native network. Uh, some of the details on the deal itself, Zeo, obviously they're, I think, the biggest name when it comes to the providers of fiber here on this list. They've got 13 million fiber miles across uh, 133,000 route miles in metro and major markets in the United States. So that footprint's pretty substantial. Uh, Zeo's partnership with DISH is obviously going to be a big piece moving forward in their networking. DISH is also going to leverage Everstream, uh, more of a Midwest partnership to provide fiber optic in those areas. And I think also, uh, you know, based on what I'm seeing here in the uh, story out of FierceWireless.com, we also have a deal with Unity. And, um, you know, they've got, I think, 6.7 million fiber strand miles. All right, so that's pretty substantial. And then Segra, they're going to be providing DISH as well with fiber transport. And uh, that's in the mid-Atlantic and the southeast regions of the U.S. So that's pretty big time. I think Seg Segra has, I think, uh, 30,000 fiber route miles and 1 million fiber strand miles. So th this is just another piece of what's happening with Dish's network build. Like I said previously, the tower deals are in place with multiple tower companies. They've got the partnerships with the Open RAN networking with vendors and the network core with Nokia. You know, and all of this has been happening step by step, piece by piece. So I think this is probably the final chip that needed to fall in order for the network to really come together and for them to to form a semblance of a national network. Now, don't forget, Dish has a partnership, well, not a partnership, but they have an MVNO agreement with T-Mobile. I don't want to say partnership because they are definitely not partners. Uh, they do not get along. They do not have a healthy, productive, you know, professional relationship, you know, T-Mobile and Dish. But they do have that as a fallback, right? They're, the LTE and the 5G network, they've got a seven-year agreement there through the DOJ and the FCC agreement concessions and the T-Mobile and Sprint merger. So you've got that in your back pocket. Now you've got your native bill that's about to be ongoing. They've got, you know, some benchmarks that they've got to hit. You know, X amount of coverage, you know, pops by uh, 2022, 2023. I think the 2022 build, you know, requirement's pretty easy to hit. I think they have to be like 30% of the country. The 70% one's going to be a lot tougher to do. But this is all coming together nicely. Who knows if they'll actually hit those metrics, those requirements, or if they're going to have to eat up those fines. But now that we've got a fiber deal, that pretty much makes it official with towers, with the vendors, you know, with all of that stuff. It's, it's pretty much a wrap. We're going to be seeing, you know, markets for Dish by the end of the year, most definitely. We already know they're going to be NFL-based, you know, markets. They'll start launching their Greenfield 5G, and and it's we're going to track it. I can't wait to get a sim and actually try it. I can't wait to see the network get built and uh, see what this new open field, uh, open RAN Greenfield 5G networking is all about. Very excited. They've got, they're going to have, you know, IoT is going to be a big thing in what they do, connected vehicles and other things. Very exciting times. We'll see how they do it. Excited to see what other partnerships and other, uh, you know, agreements they put forth and, and innovating in the, in the 5G space. So let me know what you think in the comment section below. I want to report this. Anytime something happens with Dish, I want to bring it to you guys. So I'm excited. Drop me a line in the comment section below. The voice of the people, the SMT Nation. Let your voice be heard.
Thank you for taking this opportunity to watch the SMT YouTube channel. If you appreciated this video, give it a like and a share to all your favorite social media platforms. Thank you in advance for that. Also, check out some of the links in the description box. We have the SMT Patreon page. We also have the Twitter handle at Sneed Tech. And do check out the audio-only podcast available on all the major podcast platforms. And if you are new have not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and activate the bell notification icon so you never miss an upload from the SMT. We'll catch you on the next video. Peace.